Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in digital signal processing. In this video lecture, we shall consider using linear convolution method, find y of n is equal to x of n convolved with h of n for the sequences h of x of n and h of n given. Compare the result by solving the problem using overlap save and overlap add method. So first, let me consider x of n as given. Uh, whatever x of n being given, let's consider x of n also h of n. Just write down x of n and h of n very correctly. Once this is done, we can solve the linear convolution by making use of circular convolution method. Why? Because I can get, I can solve linear convolution making use of graphical method also, but it is quite time consuming. Hence, I will make use of circular convolution method. For that, I will first find the length of the input sequence x of n. Just count the elements I am going to get. There are 12 samples in x of n. Similarly, what is the length of impulse response? As there are two elements, the length must be 2. Then what must be the length of the output sequence y of n? It is 12 plus 2 minus 1. Hence, I am going to get 13. But x of n is of length 12. How do I make it 13? I will append 1 0 to x of n and 11 zeros to h of n so that both x of n and h of n will be of length 13. How do they look like? Just get x of n is equal to, uh, just write the 12 samples towards the end append 1 0 so that it will be of length 13 similarly h of n consider 1 comma 2 and now append 11 0 so that that will also be of length 13 moving further now i need to find y of n is equal to x of n circularly convolved with h of n y of n is equal to first i will write x or x of n in matrix form so first i will write x of n in the column so whatever i get towards the end here whatever i get towards the end zero i will write it at this beginning so whatever elements i have i will shift these thing by one element and i will repeat this process uh, for 13 times once that is done i will also consider h of n and i would solve these two matrices by multiplication and addition so that i would get my output finally this is what it is 1 4 3 0 7 4 minus 7 minus 7 minus 1 3 4 3 minus 2 so this is the final output y of n so now this is the linear convolution this need to be verified using overlap add as well as overlap save method first let me consider verification by making use of overlap add method so what should i do i'll consider x of n whatever has been given uh, the 12 elements the 12 samples i will consider along with h of n which are of two samples so let me consider uh, x of n and h of n ls is the length of the input i'll take it as 12 m is the length of the impulse response i'll take it as 2 n it is the block size it is not given i will assume it of length 11 n is equal to we have the formula l plus m minus 1 what is uh, n i assumed it as 11 l i need to find m is 2 minus 1 so what must be l if i solve that i'm going to get l is equal to 10 that means out of 12 samples in x of n i need to consider 10 elements is that fine i'll consider 10 elements and 1 0 so that it will be of length 11 n i assumed it to be 11 10 elements i'll take it here and uh, i will add 1 0 so that i will get my first input x1 of n i'm dividing my x of n into blocks of input x1 of n is equal to i'll consider 10 elements and to make it of length 11 i'll append 1 0 Similarly, I need to consider x2 of n. What are the remaining? Remaining things are 2 and minus 1 in x of n. I will write 2 minus 1 and then 9 zeros to make it of length 11. So now I have got x1 of n, x2 of n so that I can find y1 of n and y2 of n. So moving further, I'll consider y1 of n is equal to x1 of n. Again, I will write it in column wise and next column, as I said earlier, whatever the last element is there here, I will take it at the beginning and these element I will keep shifting by one position. So moving further, I'll consider also h of n and solving this matrices, I'm going to get 
this as answer this is not the final answer i said it is part of the answer y1 of n similarly i need to find also y2 of n so let me consider now x2 of n in the matrix form and that gets multiplied with h of n and that produces the output y2 of n so now i got y1 of n y2 of n now i need to add them as the method itself is overlap add method first let now i'll get the output y of n i'll consider y1 of n the way i got uh, how many zeros i added here i added one zero that is where overlap is going to happen at that position i am going to add y2 of n i'll just write it so all the elements rest of the elements i'll keep them as they are 2 plus 2 i'm going to get, make it as 4 and the rest of the elements as they are if i do that i'm going to get y of n is equal to this as my final output if i go back and check this is the same output as i got using linear convolution method so i have verified this using overlap add method uh, the same thing should also be verified using overlap save method i'm not going to do that I'm, i'll give this as an assignment please all of you uh, understand what the overlap save method i have also one video on that uh, similarly you solve the problem using overlap save method and we must still get same y of n as earlier Yes, I have explained this numerical step by step. I hope you people have understood. If there are still any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section and I'm very much happy to answer those doubts. Thank you so much for watching.